Hey guys, today we're going to go over how to do an Aetna enrollment, a scope of appointment. Let's check out the new Think Agent. Uh, that's something that they've ro rolled out recently. Um, and so just kind of how to use this process. It's just an alternative to simply enroll. Uh, it is a good one. You can do HRAs and everything through here. Uh, and they are uh, making it very user friendly. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website right here. App.thinkagent.com backslash sign in um, in here uh, when you're on here you're gonna see that you can sign up or if you already have an account you can sign in so depending on your situation you can sign up or sign in I'm gonna go ahead and sign in here and once log in you're gonna see my information is already saved since I've already created and set up my account um, you're gonna see it looks like this um, on here you can see you can do PTSAs, HRAs, retail reports, sales, um, all on here. They have a calendar uh, for whatever reason, resources. So if you want to download sales presentations, you can actually find it on here, a net and a sales presentation. So they have a lot of good resources, telephonic enrollment scripts, um, retail broker information, dual SNP um, information for your state. Uh, so it is a pretty good resource page. You can also even change the way it looks to dark mode, change your security questions, your profile, things of that nature. Um, but for our purposes, uh, we want to concentrate on um, sales, right? That's what we do. This is how we enroll. Um, the first thing, the main thing you want to know is here, say you're ready to sell, it tells you based on your NPN number, uh, that you, it knows you're ready to sell. So you can go ahead and start um, applying this and um, go with the enrollment process right here because you know you're good. If you're not good, it will let you know not appointed right on here. Um, one of the things that they brought out in our Think Agent training is the very first thing you want to do before you start hitting my enrollments, enroll any of these items here, is create the lead. That lead will transfer to your scope of appointment and to your application process as well. So just FYI, uh, that is something that you want to start off with. The rest is uh, just you know provider search, which will take you to that etnamedicare.com page as of right now. Uh, they did say they're trying to make this to where everything will live in ThinkAgent, but as of right now, it takes you outside to etnamedicare.com. Year over year plan change tool, if it, your member's on here, you can actually uh, basically compare plans, what they have. So let's say they were on the prime plan and um, you know you want to compare it from 2020 to 2022, 21, I'm sorry, 20, 2022. It will tell you and highlight all the differences between the plans. Uh, what's changed, what's not changed um, going through it. So here's a change in yellow, $30, $30 to 20%. Uh, so you can actually calculate the difference. That's pretty cool. I think that's a good feature to have. Um, so if you're with a client and they want to see what's changed, it's really easy to go on there. Final plan takes you to outside to that um, Medicare uh, page on through Aetna. But leads, leads is the first thing that they stress that you need to go do. You need to add the lead. Uh, this is a new lead. If you can't find your lead in here after you've already put it, they said not to stress, go to all leads and it will show up there. Uh, for our purposes, we want to create this lead. We're going to hit that plus sign. You're going to start hitting, hitting the information. I'm going to put test. Uh, find one. And put that on there. Let's see here. So here I've inputted all the information. Um, my dummy Medicare number. Um, and then I just hit save. So now it's saved, you're going to see here new leads. In case you don't see it here, just know it'll be under all leads. Um, so just so that you know, it could, it could kind of hide from there. Um, once you click here on the actual lead, you're going to notice that you can do a couple different things. You can add notes. So you can say um, on here, oh, um, you know, met client at HEB on uh, 16.04 and Bandera or whatever you want to put on there. Um, you can add a new note, you can delete the note, edit the note. Here's where it starts getting kind of um, interesting. You can add the drugs, you can add pharmacy information. Um, you know, it's whatever's, whatever information you want to put, not necessary for the enrollment, but if you wanted to send this, the, the scope on here, you could do that as well. You see all the information you already input it, it automatically sends it, so it's a lot easier. Um, here's your scope of appointment. You can kind of put what you talk, want, talked about. 
um, initial method of contact, uh, we talked via phone. Let's say we talked about the value HMO plan. Um, it has your information already popped up. You do have to put your phone number though. And then the date, I'm gonna put today's date that we met at, that sounds like a good time. And this was a retail location, or you can do a home visit. Um, you know, you can put it in there. Here's their signature. Um, if they had an authorized representative, you can send it uh, via email or submit on text. I'm gonna send it via text. From the agent side, all you have to do now is hit submit. So it's gonna send it over to that client and let's wait for the client to get it. You're gonna see the client's gonna get a text and it's gonna have a link, a, like a blue link below it where they can sign it. Once they hit that link, it's gonna be the, the actual um, scope of appointment you're going to see that it's going to look very similar to that page that we were on but it's going to instead of saying submit it's going to say accept or reject so they can reject the scope of appointment uh, you're going to want to tell your client to hit accept so i'm going to hit it there it's going to say do you want to accept okay and now uh the client has accepted it on their phone um and you should be able to now if you go back on your side um see that it says SOA approved on here. It will change as soon as the client does it. Um, you also get an email confirmation and the client gets an email confirmation as well that it's been done. Um, so that's how you do the scope. Um, the application, uh, basically you go back into it. And um, now that you created the scope, uh, you can add pharmacy, drugs, all that information on here, um, on there. Okay, now that you've created your lead and, and have it your scope, you can actually hit home. Uh, you want to come to enroll. Confusing, I know, but that's the way they have it set it up. You find your lead, you click on it, you click enroll on the year. If it's AAP, I'm sure it'll be different during AAP. You can filter if you need to filter, um, but you just find the plan you're looking for with the client. So if it was the premier plan, um, the prime plan choice, they have everything that's available based off the zip code you put on there. Uh, and hit this red enroll now um, and ask you if it's a telephonic enrollment. You can hit yes, you can hit no, depending on your situation. Then here comes the actual um, enrollment process. If they're new to Medicare, what's their SCP to get in? Um, I'm just gonna say they're new to Medicare. Um, and then you scroll down. If they have any situations such as Medicare and Medicaid, um, any of that, hit next when you're ready and you just go through this process and check that in do you see how it's gonna I'm gonna have to stop here because it knows that my um, birthday does not match up with that MBI number but you just go through the process just like any other enrollment um, on here so you can put in the information you can actually look up the, the primary care doctor since it's an HMO you're gonna need to put it on there um, and try to find them so I'm just gonna put um, this guy in Bernie, select him. You see how that information pulls up. Yes, existing patient. Um, the effective date, I'm going to put that information on here. Pretty easy. Um, you're going to hit next when you're ready to go, but you're going to see here that uh, it's a very similar. It pulls in the information from the scope, so you don't have to actually put it. Um, I don't think it's going to let me go because of the, oh, it did, okay. Um, I didn't think it's the MBI number. But you just answer the questions, so if they're not LTC, if do they have Medicaid, do they need this in any other language, um, you can actually just put in your information there. And if you don't click on something, it will let you know. So if you need to change it to English to Spanish or another, you can just write it there. Hit next. Um, how do they want to pay? Invoice, coupon book, bank account, EFT, social security. It's probably the most popular one. Um, I am the person listed on here. And then it's time to review it, right? Oh, here it is. I am the person that I clicked on that. There it goes. It's time to review. So you just review the app. Okay, everything on there looks good. Now what? Hit next. Everything on here looks good as far as the mailing address. Hit next. Everything looks good. Makes you review it. 
Now comes the signature part. They can sign and submit in their writing in front of you or they can send for e-signature like that text messaging uh, that we tried out. I'm not going to do this here because it's a fake and I'll get in trouble with Aetna. But um, you can sign and submit or send for signature from here. You just pick your option as far as what's the best for your customer if they're in front of you or they're not in front of you. Hope this helps. Thanks, guys.